Trying with some theorem seems incredibly complicated in concept and by name, however it is much simpler than you think it is. All it says is the three angles of a triangle add up to 180. So you can write an equation for each of these. First one, we're solving for that missing angle. We know two angles are 60 and 70. So I'm going to add 60 plus 70 plus x. That is equal to 180. If you were to subtract both of these from both sides, you would end up getting that x is equal to 50. Next one, there's a variable. We can always put a variable in there. However, we have these two markings here. These mean that they are the same, okay? They are congruent to each other. So if I put an x here, I should also put an x there. And in that case, when we write our equation, we're going to have 2x plus 80 equals 180. We would subtract 80 from both sides, and we would get that 2x equals 100, and that x is also 50 in this case. Now, moving on to this example down here, there are a couple of parts to it, right? The first thing is we have 3x and 4x. No numbers inside our actual triangle, right? However, we do have this 40 down here. And this right here is an example of vertical angles, okay? When we have vertical angles, we know those angles are congruent, which means that this is also 40. Same deal as last time. Let's write our equation. We are adding them up and setting them equal to 180. So we have 3x plus 4x plus 40 is equal to 180. Then we can combine like terms, 7x plus 40 equals 180. Now we need to subtract 40 from both sides, and then we can divide. So we got 7x equals 140. We divide by seven, and our answer up here is going to be x equals 20. And that is how you use the triangle sum theorem.